In today's video, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret if you're looking to land your first job in IT. Now, I know I've made some, well, questionable videos in the past couple of weeks, making fun at entry-level jobs and the requirements, the quote-unquote requirements for entry-level IT. And while there is much truth behind the things that I've been saying and sharing, the fact of the matter is, if you're looking to get an entry-level job in IT, just break into the door in IT. You can completely ignore every single requirement that you see. Because the secret that's really not so much a secret anymore, because I've said it many times, is job requirements are simply a wish list. And that is fact. Whether they are requiring years of experience or not, whether they are requiring you have XYZ certification or experience in XYZ or not, that doesn't matter. The job requirements that you are seeing are a wish list. These employers are wishing that their potential candidate meets every single one of these requirements. How often do you guys think that happens? I'm waiting because it happens like slim to none. 99% of the time, they'll never hire a candidate that meets every one of those requirements. It's simply a wish list. They really would like to have somebody who has three to four years of experience in their help desk role, of course, because they don't have to do as much training. But in reality, you don't have to worry about that. In reality, you apply for everything. Whether you meet the requirements or not, you apply anyway. And really, you might have to apply, apply, apply times like a thousand. Like, and I literally mean times a thousand. And we're gonna show you exactly what we mean in a future video when I say thousand, and we're gonna pluralize that to thousands because it can take all that effort just to get your foot in the door. And the reality of this is, it's not just IT that's like that. There are plenty of other professional careers out there that simply take a long time to get your foot into the door. And many different careers out there, you're gonna run into the same obstacles where you see all of these ludicrous requirements for entry-level jobs. They're simply wish lists, y'all. And if you really wanna get your foot in the door, I've given you the steps, I've given you the tools, I've helped guide you the best that I possibly can. But at the end of the day, no matter how many degrees, no matter how many certifications you have, without experience, it can be difficult. And the best way to bypass this is to volunteer, to get some type of internship, to build your own home lab and document the crap out of it and make that visible for employers to see. And just apply, <laughs> apply for everything, please. Because if you're not taking the time to do that, then it's gonna be difficult for you. Nothing in life simply falls into your lap. And you can watch plenty of people that that happens to. Plenty of people have it easier than you. Plenty of people have it easier than me. That's okay. Don't worry about other people. Push everybody else out of your life and all of their, you know, experiences and circumstances and how they did this. Push that away. Don't think about how they did it or what they did because in this circumstance, they do not matter. The only person that matters is you, and you might have to put in more work than your friend or somebody that you know. Apply for everything, please. That's the best way to get in this field, is to keep getting yourself in front of people. And of course, the last one I could tell you is networking. Get on LinkedIn and start networking with IT professionals. Start sharing things that you've done, things that you want to do, things that actually matter to other IT professionals and you will get noticed. Start going to meetups. Meet with your other professionals in your area and be vocal about the fact that you wanna get started in this field and you never know who you'll run across by going to a meetup or connecting with people on LinkedIn. Possibilities are endless, but you still have to put in the work. It still comes back to you. So this video is just kind of touching on you know, the, the the previous like kind of joke videos that I made or and things that you may have seen that I've posted on LinkedIn where I'm drawing awareness to this. But the fact of the matter is like, I've given you like the best pro tips that I possibly can. You have to follow through. It's all on you and you can do it. 
So I wish you guys the best of luck in your journey and stay tuned for a video coming up where we talk about how it could take thousands of job applications before you actually get your foot in the door. It's really important that we discuss this and bring awareness to this so everybody understands exactly what you're getting into when it comes to the information technology career field. That's it for IT career questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, merch link in bio, all that stuff that YouTuber dudes and girls are supposed to say and all that and take it easy. <laughs>